Okay, Russo mine uh, in the a uh, uh, little bit north, northern, uh, almost northern Namibia, central to to slightly northern Namibia. I think around about Grootfontein and so on, if I'm not mistaken. We have a a a crust of matrix, a very thin crust of matrix, high iron content in the matrix. Sitting on that would be fluorite crystals and of course these quartzes with this milky effect around them. Now in this case we have almost a plate. So so let's just go across like this. We take it from this angle, give you a perspective of that. So this is if you're looking from the sides going in. Then when you're looking from the top down you'd basically have this effect uh, we would have the little quartzes sitting together with the fluorides fluorides a green uh, shots of purple often color zoning in these crystals very very uh, they are not photo uh, photogenic by any means i think with some with some photoshop we can, one can fix the pictures but uh, as is very very difficult to photograph um, Here's another section, this would be on the behind, where you have some uh, fluorite mixed with the, uh, the quartzes. And then just let's have a look uh, if we can see some of the color zoning in these, in these fluorites. Almost, the still pictures make it look almost synthetic. All the way from Namibia. Of course the Okarusa mine material hasn't been available for a few years now. Uh, there's an abundance of fluorite there, yet uh, let's see if we can get some more in time, because there were some really magnificent uh, fluorites which came out of there.